Hey guys, welcome to another video. So today I'm going to be doing a really cool special thread review. So I'm going to be reviewing this really pretty, uh, let's say, embroidery floss or yarn. I'm going to be reviewing this multicolored Aunt Lydia's crochet thread. I'm going to be reviewing this other, uh, let's say, diva thread. It's a multicolored string. I'm also going to be reviewing the Summer Nights thread that I got on Amazon. So I'm going to be cranking out two videos of this sort of topic because I know that a lot of people do constantly search where to get different types of special embroidery thread. So my first one's going to be, like I said, the special embroidery floss. My second's going to be just the regular colors and just, you know, brands of embroidery floss like DMC and just the solid regular colors. So before I get into reviewing my threads and also stating the pros and cons of each, I'd like to ask you guys who haven't subscribed to please subscribe down below to my channel. That way you will get notifications every time I post a video and teach you guys how to make French bracelets and other crafts as well at times. Now let's get started. So the first brand I'd like to discuss today is the Alitze thread. So I do have about seven colors of this brand, sorry. Eight colors <laughs> and I got them off of Etsy so I have these really pretty red colors I have this sort of pinkish red hot pink color this dark red color this reddish orangish color this light pink color this orangey yellow color purple green and I have a silver here so these threads are really pretty I got these off Etsy like I said before um, I will try and leave a link in the description if I can find it again, um, but it's a really amazing thread. It's very colorful and very vibrant um, and just very sparkly depending on what type you get. I also have this multicolored Diva yarn. So these are called like different things like the Simli um, label right here, you can see it. Um, it has the sparkles on it. And these come in different sizes. I don't know what size I got. It's I think it's probably size 10. It's yarn. Um, there's also different sizes. Like I know that Masha Knots does have um, yarn skeins that are huge and they're a lot thicker, but they still do produce the same size of knots, which I find very interesting. So now let's get into some of the pros for this brand. So like I did say, this brand is very vibrant. The colors are just beautiful and they work really well in bracelets with other colors as well. So I think that these are very good for complementing colors and if you want a sparkly bracelet if you want it to pop more then definitely use these and they're just a great thing to have if you want to really complement your bracelets and for some of the cons I have for these skeins of yarn is that these are pretty small the knots are small um, that come out of these and I don't know, I feel like the plastic for the sparkles that are sort of interlaced with the pieces of yarn, they come off very easily so I have to tie knots at the very end of the strings when I am working with these because they start to fray and they can also get pretty messy, tangle with each other, and they also snap off which is a pretty big issue when it comes to knotting your bracelets. Next brand I would like to discuss is the Aunt Lydia's. So I've only used this brand once. It's very colorful, but not nearly as vibrant as the Elitze thread. I have to say that it is pretty nice to work with. The color switching and changing in this is pretty smooth, it's pretty quick, which is good when you're knotting bracelets. And like this yarn right here that I have, the Diva, it color changes very, very slowly. Not good for making bracelets, but definitely good for knitting. If you guys like to knit socks or scarves or beanies, definitely use this. Um, but for bracelets, I wouldn't really recommend um, using this type if you are annoyed by the sort of color switching, how slow it is. Anyways, this is really good for knotting in your bracelets, like I said before, because of the really quick color switch. So as you guys can see here, there are only a couple of inches of pink, and it sort of transitions into a green color, and then it just goes on and on until it reaches every color it has, but um, yeah, it's, it's pretty good. Some cons about it is that I would not recommend using it with regular embroidery floss, only other crochet thread, like I have this brand right here, it's called Golo. It's about the same thickness as the Aunt Lydia's, it's size 10, and I don't know. I definitely recommend using them together though, because using it with any other thickness definitely has penalties to it. Your bracelets will turn out to be a lot more uneven, especially in alphas, because of the thickness of the thread and the size of the knots they produce. 
Last brand I would like to discuss is the Summer Nights. So this is a really beautiful, beautiful type of yarn. There are, I think, yeah, 800 meters on this, so it's pretty big. It'll last me a lifetime. <laughs> but the colors are very vibrant as well. It's like the Elitze and the Aunt Lydia's combined together. Yeah, it's beautiful. And it's pretty much the exact same as embroidery floss, the exact same thickness. I did use it in a bracelet, but I gave that one away, um, so I don't have it to show right now. But it does produce beautiful knots. Sparkles on them are very consistent. I just really enjoy using this overall. I would not list any cons, though I would definitely recommend tying a knot at the very end of the string, just so these sparkles don't come loose and probably pop off and fray. I hope you found it very helpful. Um, I know that the Elitze is probably the rarest out of all of these brands because I do know that Summer Nights can definitely be accessed on Amazon, which you can get in the United States. Elitze, however, in the United States is not very accessible unless you're ordering off of Etsy. But in Russia and in Europe, this is pr pretty accessible based on what Mashinat says. And also the Aunt Lydia Floss is very accessible in the US. I don't know where else it is just as accessible, but definitely in the US. That's all I have today. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.